Boeing shocked everyone now at the Farnborough Air Show. After five eventful days, the Farnborough International Air Show has concluded. It was, as always, filled with numerous orders and announcements from airlines, aircraft manufacturers, as well as engine producers and leasing companies. A most important and interesting for the aviation industry highlight of the event was the series of orders unveiled by both Airbus and Boeing. And while the American manufacturer kicked off the show with several major announcements, Airbus ultimately surpassed Boeing in total sales by the event's end with 164 aircraft ordered. In comparison, Boeing had secured 118 commitments for its planes. So even though it seems that Airbus won the show by securing the most orders, Boeing shocked the entire industry with something different. For years, famous air shows such as Paris Air Show, Dubai Air Show, or Farnborough Air Show were the moments when aircraft manufacturers announced or showed their new products, including new aircraft types or variants, interiors, and other innovations. This time was no different, as Boeing presented a completely new and innovative airplane cabin that will change traveling for the better and will definitely make passengers happier. Boeing 777X, as this is the aircraft we're speaking about, is Boeing's newest wide-body plane. Its introduction into service has been postponed numerous times, and we will talk about this later. Currently, Boeing plans that 777X will enter into service in late 2025. The aircraft itself was shown multiple times during many air shows and could also be seen during test flights. However, during this year's Farnborough Air Show, Boeing went one step further and presented how the passenger cabin of the plane will look like. So what's so unique about it? Well, the first thing that catches the eye is the spacious interior with eight foot tall or almost two and a half meter ceilings. This will allow people of any height to feel comfortable on board. Boeing claims that the cabin will be four inches wider than in the previous 777 versions. This will be achieved through thinner walls and more efficient insulation and will add more space for economy class passengers as there will still be 10 seats in a row. What is more interesting is Boeing's hope for the combination of light and architecture to create space on a psychological level. The second important improvement is the bigger overhead stowage bins that hold twice as many bags and close up with 40% less force, so it will become much easier to close the full bin. There will be also no center overhead bins in first and business class, as the airlines claim that those above the window side are sufficient. This will even more improve the spaciousness of the jet's interior. Boeing 777X will also have a lower cabin altitude of around 6,000 feet, similar to the 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. Also, the humidity will be higher than in the previous 777 variants, but lower than in the previously mentioned jets. This is because 777X will still retain an aluminum fuselage while the 787 and A350 ones are made out of composite. Increased humidity results in a greater risk of fuselage corrosion, and Boeing wants to avoid that. So even though Dreamliner will still have higher humidity, the new 777 will have improved cabin air quality with available gaseous filtration, allowing passengers to feel more refreshed when arriving at their destinations. But that's not the end of the innovations that Boeing will include in their latest jet. The 777X will feature larger passenger windows than the older 777, giving more light in the cabin and enabling a better view for passengers. To compare it with other aircraft, let's see some numbers. On the 777 windows are 140 square inches. On the A350, they are 125, and the 777X will have 162 square inches. Only the Dreamliner has bigger ones with 176 square inches, which was however made possible by the composite fuselage, which is more resistant to fatigue. Boeing also offers an option for airlines to choose electronically dimmable windows, which darken at the touch of a button, similar to the 787. However, most airlines won't choose them due to frequent failures and problems. The passengers are also not the biggest fans of these windows. Do you like the 787 Windows concept? Write in the comments below. Now let's focus on the other interesting facts about the Boeing 777X. 
The aircraft itself is equipped with new General Electric GE9X engines, which were specifically designed for this type. The GE9X is an evolution of the GE90 engine used on the 777 and sets a new world record for commercial engine thrust at 134, 300 pounds. The GE9X features several enhancements, including a larger diameter fan with fewer blades or a higher bypass ratio for improved propulsion efficiency. The most thing is the fact that the GE9X is not only powerful but also wider than the fuselage of a Boeing 737. In terms of efficiency, the 777X stands out despite its large engines, high capacity, and extensive range. It offers a cost per seat 13% lower than the 777-300ER. Boeing also claims that this time it will be better than Airbus, and the 777-9 will have 11% lower operating costs than the A350-1000. However, will we see what the truth is once the 777X finally enters the service? And this is another fascinating topic, as the delays are massive here. Initially, the Boeing 777X was supposed to enter service in 2020. This was announced during the Dubai Air Show in November 2013. However, the 777X entry into service was pushed forward every year. This was happening mainly due to issues with the GE9X engines and certification challenges with the FAA and other regulatory bodies. In the meantime, the two 737 MAX crashes also happened, which brought Boeing under scrutiny. Boeing even paused the production of the 777X in 2022. Now it has resumed, and the American manufacturer claims that the first 777X will be delivered in late 2025. Do you believe it? Well, it seems that airlines also don't, as Lufthansa claims that 2026 is the earliest possible delivery year for this new giant plane. In the end, let's get back to the 2024 Farnborough Air Show, as this was supposed to be the main topic of the video. The 777X itself got 40 orders, 20 from Qatar Airways and 20 from Korean Air. As it was said at the beginning, Airbus won with the number of orders this time, which is different from the last Dubai Air Show when Boeing won 295 to 86. However, air shows are not only about orders, and that's why Boeing is not in a lost position. The company's main goal for this year was to focus on safety and to show the public and the customers that it has overcome the quality control issues it has faced. And Boeing clearly made a good impression here. It should also be noted that it is not easy for either jet makers to finalize deals, as they are not delivering as many airplanes as contracted due to continued supply chain challenges and with the uncertain delivery schedule of the committed order book. So, all in all, Boeing shocked the aviation world in many ways at this year's Farnborough Air Show. First, it showed the 777X interior, giving even more details about this most modern and advanced jet. After all, Airbus is not planning to launch something new, at least for the time being. Boeing also showed that the company is doing its best to be a trustworthy manufacturer again, after a series of issues it faced. However, only time will tell us whether this was not only a PR show. Thanks for watching. Please support this channel and subscribe for even more aviation content.